Hello and welcome to our Molotov Stroke Bujani video. We are going to compare them both on this video. So make sure you watch it to the end. Yeah, I think we're trying out just to see how it yeah, goes. Yeah, some different. How comments, see yeah. So first we've got the Molotov and there's its plus point, sure shot. It tells we've got ballistic trajectory, long range, standard in it for a Russian a Russian cruiser, exposed and below average concealment. Again, it's unfortunately the standard for Russian yeah. ships just in general, even destroyers. Uh, Molotov, I mean, even the Budyani, they both have to care off, really. So we'll have a look at the stats. We always go aiming systems. We're going to go yeah. aiming systems all the time. There's not really much choice. If you're getting up close and personal doing a Molotov, you're in trouble. So secondaries are out of the window. You don't really Why go secondaries? Enough. I'm not sure. I mean, this is the traverse is pretty poor. So Why go traverse? Option. They yeah. turn slow anyway. Yeah. And you, re you need your reload. The Molotov's yeah. got a really long reload. It's got bigger guns than the Budjani, so it's slightly different in the way yeah. it plays. Propulsion, Propulsion, you've got to get out of dodge All if you day can. Long. Um, that's always an option, actually, the rudder shift, because they don't turn the best. It's a bit like the um, Japanese cruisers, in a way. They're not the yeah, best at maneuverability-wise. Damage control, it's a cruiser, so you're dodging torpedoes anyway, mostly, and fires get put out quite quick. You notice that the Molotov's got different guns to the buddy on it, so it takes longer to reload. Still got the range though, 16.8. Chance of fire, 15.5. So it's okay. 4,400 from an AP round. That's pretty pretty decent for tier 5. Yeah. Uh, standard Russian torpedoes, 4 kilometers, 6 fire knots, 14,400 damage. Do reload quite quick though for a Russian cruiser. Only 70 seconds. Need to, Sometimes man. it can be like 2 minutes, can't it? <laughs> yeah. Five second consumable range. Uh, the sonar's okay. 3.9. It's yeah, not, it's not the best. I mean, the planes, I mean, the, the Budyari does carry the radar, mm. which can be swapped out for a plane. With the Molotov, you're stuck with the plane. You can't swap that out. Wow. So that's one advantage you've got in the Budyari over the Molotov is you've got no radar, which is quite a substantial advantage the Budyari has. Yeah, true. It points 28,000, so you've got less than the Budyari. Thickness on the armor is less than a Budyani as well, so wow. we're struggling there. Yeah. You have got bigger guns, 180 millimeter guns compared to the 152 on the Budyani. Range is very similar; it's just a little bit higher on the Budyani, but they're still decent. It's mostly yeah. down to your command. You can see the AT round 2,100 damage. It's, it's okay. The torpedoes, it's just that 4K. reload. Okay. The reload is far more substantial, but you, I don't see that as an advantage because it's not something you use a lot. In yeah. Russian cruisers, not 4K, no. they're more of a defensive thing. Yeah. So if you've got one lot off, if you haven't killed it with them, then you're probably going to die by the time yeah. the other's reload. We're anyway. side on, aren't you? Yeah. As well. It's quite maneuverable, 36 knots, so it's quite fast to turn a circle. That's what I'm talking about where it starts getting sluggish. It's yeah. quite a lot more than the Budjani, but it's a Russian cruiser, mm. what I've said before. Uh, Stealthy-ish to a point, but you're fighting at that far a range. You're not going to get worried about spotting anyway. That's not the job of a Molotov slide like Budjani to get in there and get mixing it up. So you go. On, what I don't know how you can pronounce his name. No, we'll call him Nikolay. <laughs> yeah, call him Nick. <laughs> Nick. Oh. We're only going to show you one commander because he's in both ships. So we don't yeah, we used him in both. Traits, so there you go. There's his main plus point: is a range of his guns. But we use Tenant as a. Uh, trait tenant as a deterrent yeah decrease citadel damage um, and charles and the madden but this this goes against it i don't know why it doesn't really improve it yeah don't know why don't know why i keep him in there i mean but... that's one i'd be tempted with as well but you've gone with range that maximum range aren't you yeah no, but you lose it with yeah. the madden you see yeah. so you've got you've to try and pull it back. it back yeah chance of fire you can get it back here a little bit 2.5 yeah, I mean, it's not the greatest at chance of fire anyway. It's not like the it's country tier seven is just absolutely fire starting. You're like no tomorrow. The Molotov don't have the fire rate. I don't think no, not twelve off. seconds. No. Yeah, the armor penetration, but you lose your shell damage, HE shell damage. That's why it's so low at two thousand one hundred. It should yeah. be substantially more. That's AP. one you could use, but it does shred. But most of them do, don't you? you know what the shells it's is like when you get up close yeah. and personal with Russian cruiser with AP rounds, you're in trouble. They can do some serious damage. Rudder shift, that's always a, a good one to have. But you could go that. Shell grouping on main guns. That's always an option. Always There's a lot to go at, to be fair. Yeah. Isn't it? Reload time. It depends which way you want to play it. Man. Yeah. Reload time does make a big difference on this. Or you could have an extra plane. <laughs> I go reload. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely go reload. You're always going to go extra plane. <laughs> I can't remember if he's more set up for Bujani yeah. or Martov, to be fair. Can't and remember. speak of the devil. 
Here he is. Here he is, a tech tree, tier five Russian cruiser, the Budyani. You can see he's got similar traits. Sure shot, trajectory, long range, and mm. unwieldy. Below average ability to change direction, which is <laughs> technically better than the <laughs> Molotov, so it's a strange one to be on there. You can see there, again, it's based off the Kirov class, just like a Molotov. So they're very similar ships, in a way. Very well, similar. Totally different when it comes to the guns. guns. We're going to go through the upgrades first, or modifications, whatever you want to call them. We'll stick to the same things, really, because we're playing in a similar way. Aiming systems, like we mentioned before, you don't want to be getting built close with this thing, so secondaries aren't really an option. Not to use aiming systems on anything. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Same with propulsion. And the steering one's sometimes an option. Yeah. You know, if you've got, I mean, it's an option on this ship with weight handles. You saw it there, it's mm. unwieldy. So it's a yeah. chance to use it on this, but the guns don't turn quick enough. So I'd see that as a negative because it'd be turning faster than your guns could keep up with, if yeah. that makes sense. Definitely. So yeah, you might be able to dodge some shots, but you won't be able to return any fire. No. Uh, there's them rounds. Yeah. You can see different guns. So look at the reload. Substantially lower than you got in the Molotov. 7.6 seconds. Oh, we've got so similar awesome. damage though, look. Yeah. And we've got just that 0.2 a kilometer extra of... range. Yeah, 17. Torpedoes, nearly the same, but one thing has changed. Look at the reload. Yeah, it's definitely. nearly two minutes. Yeah. Two minute reload. But like we said before, if you haven't took them out with the first lot, then uh, yeah. things are going to change. But you're 17 kilometers away from stuff. You don't need 4K yeah. torps, do you? Yeah, exactly. So we see there, we've got the same sonar, but this is where yeah. it changes. Fighter switch plate it. on here, you can switch it out for sonar, which you should do. I don't think I did it to start with, I'm not sure. But. You should always run radar. It's far more think. a deadly defensive weapon plus offensive weapon, yeah. if I'm being honest. And you can see they're 8.1. It's not out there, but it's tier 5 for Christ's sake. 8.1 is far enough to get through. Yeah, definitely. You can see far there we've got a little bit more hit points, 30,800. And this armor's a little bit thicker than the Molotov as well, up to 175 mil in places. Now if you angle your, your Bujan, it does actually bounce quite We'll see. Stuff. We've got it coming up in this video. Yeah. There's then guns, only 152 millimeters. So we've dropped 50 mil in caliber, but we've, oh, we're yeah, firing twice as lot. We're firing mind. twice as many rounds. 7.6 second reload. Better chance of fire as well, 14.5. So technically we're on paper, we've got more chance of setting fires. There's then top it near enough the same. It's just a reload yeah. that's substantially higher it's not just yeah. a little bit of an increase it's, it's a hell of an increase it's like 40 40 seconds or something like that it's got yeah. yeah speed she's a fast little 35. ship 35 not quite as fast as Molotov but up there turning circle is smaller Whoa. than the uh, Molotov but the rudder shift time's higher yeah. which is strange Weird. but it's not as agile so let's go talking about using the um, rudder shift perk as I an option look at the firing in smoke 6.5 they get the same command the same yeah. setup that's not bad. It's very handy. Mm. It's just finding someone with smoke. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have a look at the Budjani first, and then we'll compare the Molotov to it after. So straight away, you've got two guns at the front, one at the back. So it's up to you if you want to risk showing the side on this thing, which is incredibly vulnerable. Incredibly vulnerable. Budjani just seems to lay down more damage for me. But I think... The Legalis and has got a little bit extra get out of jail card when it comes to receiving damage. Oh. In in the Budjani, I found that you can be having a great game, still be full health, and then you're dead. Quick. Yeah, very quick. And the Shurs is the same for tier six. It's, 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 it's all or nothing. There's no change in that. <laughs> it doesn't change it. So there we go. Like the position for I've got this cover on diving straight into it. Get up the battleship across here, but it's 16.5. You're going to struggle to get shots on us from here. Someone's put a smoke screen down for us that we Can't could have helped. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we were coming down before we took off around this corner. That's that's the thing with the Russian cruisers is to not be the focal point of the attention. You don't want to be the target. You can't be the lead ship. Okay. Pretty tricky when you get a spawn point like this when you've got one battleship who's not moving much forward, so you kind of got to take the fight to them. Not the best shit for doing that, but it's a tier six game as well. <laughs> well, you, sh you should have 17k range. What's yours? It doesn't look like 17k. Needs, no, I've set my commander up quite differently to yours. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, Are you up close and personal then? Look at yeah, that. Anyway. Look at that awesome grouping. <laughs> <laughs> as is tradition, it lands everywhere by where it actually hits it. 
Oh. Um, we're getting quite close, well, and, close and personal now that it is the Gato here. And this is where yeah. you can actually use some torpedoes. Get to a corner. Ooh. We've done without being spotted at this point, but it's that smaller map, I don't smoke. think it's possible. Look at the blue circle. Yeah. You, you're just going to get spotted from both spawn points at this point. So I'm surprised this Nagato is still coming towards me, unless he's thinking Oof. Russian cruiser. No, what I he's thinking is my him. guns will not hit anything above 4k, so he thinks he wants to get in. Oh, he's just on break, so I'm going to chance me on there that he's going to keep coming and think You may I'm, as well fire on the 4k. Yeah. Um, this is one problem with the Bud Yanni. You saw it there mentioned. What? Unyielding, wielding, whatever you want to call it. What? It just doesn't turn. turn. You think, I can get around there. And then there we go, two oh, tall things. You're Who's thinking, you're thinking, oh, nice smoke screen. Who's done through. that for you? Wow. Oh, he's next to you. Yeah. He's got length. It's not going to last length. It's got to be British, hasn't it? Uh, I don't know. So we need to get out of Dodge quick. Oh, oh it didn't no, help him, did it? it didn't so help him. We've lost his Jervis. Nice and hours coming around that side as well. We still can't get off this damn rock. We need to get out of there quick. The Gato's coming around one what side. Nice and hours coming over. We've got a Benson as well in there. Trust us to spawn across from what tier Everything. six is. Yeah. As per usual. If we can get a torpedo just one into this Nagato, it should be enough. He should flood. And he's looking like a sitting duck there, to be fair. And he's really I'm not worried him. about the Nagato. It's the nice and hour. He's plowing full. But you know what the speed's oh, like on the nice and hour. Yeah. I think the Nagato is backing up, though. Coming You're going to get one in. Yes, we've got, got, got three in got three in three. I'm Shoot the Benson. The Shoot the Benson. Eyes an hour. Eyes an hour. <laughs> He's coming quick. And this is where the Bud Johnny's torpedo reload time is a little bit of an issue. We said it could yeah. never be a benefit. It is here now. It's a bit of a shocker. This is where the Molotov would be a lot better. Look at that. Still a minute and a half. Shots already. Yep. Yeah. Um, Molotov or This is where another that. problem. Up close and personal, we have uh, You could have used your second use. Yeah, you just can't turn it. It feels like you're pulling the battleship around. It does time. actually. It looks it as well actually. I mean, I don't know where that Benson was firing that them. Benson but... was, he was, he was thingied with the islands they were in his yeah. way. He's so, not going to talk to Benson on well, I, I don't know why I'm not just shooting him. Sometimes, you know, when you watch yourself back, you think, what are you doing? Especially now, so we'll just put a great big hole in it. Oh, and this oh, is where the Bud Johnny helps with its fire rate. Molotov yeah. hasn't got this. He hasn't got this sheer... He would have escaped, wouldn't he? Yeah, he'd have been gone by. He might still escape it anyway. So we've got, Tried, <laughs> we've got rid of that. And now... Uh, he's You're playing oh, chase right now. Look, we've still got half a minute left. Wow. We just can't manoeuvre. And reloaded. I'm thinking here now at this point... Hide. Hide or wait. I've got 20 seconds. It's kind of like it's not going to be a short well, time, you, but it's not long. That battleship's like focused on him anyway, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and I'm not spotted. He doesn't know I'm here. I'm thinking that I'm just going to have to keep creeping just around this corner, stay out of the way. If he doesn't know I'm here, he's going to keep going forward. But is he going to start getting out of that four kilometre range? I know what you expect him to on remember. the edge. And he's slowing down. You can see he's changing direction a bit. Three, two, one. And that's the Nagato gun. That's your focus now. You yeah. are focused. I need to get out of dodge before I get spotted. If I'm yeah. undetected. I mean, my second is the fire at me. I have a look at that <laughs> torpedo. Yes, yeah. five. That's awesome, isn't five it? Five at each is. side. You do well. Look at the spread. Really nice yeah. spread as well. So it's not bad. Don't get too close to one of these things. It's like an horse. It can kick you at any point. That, <laughs> that's if you're in another cruiser. We talk. There we go. Ah, oh, beautiful. I mean, let's just hope. Is he flooding? He's flooding. And we're at, oh, no, he stopped. He's stopped. Typical. <laughs> Usual, so. We'll get around there and set him on yeah, fire. I'm thinking about spinning it and getting this side of my torpedoes off at him if I can, but I'm thinking, he's gonna, if he sees me, he's gonna just absolutely smash me. Oh, wow, And at this point, I've got points. my, you can see I've got my sonar with him, but I don't use my radar. I'm in this frame of mind at the minute where I play it, where I just saved my radar for destroyers. Oh, okay. I don't want to waste it on yeah, an eyes and hours, if that two. makes sense. And what I'm thinking is, by using him. the sonar, yeah. if he's not within four kilometers of just me, used yeah, if he's not within four kilometers of me, yeah. I'm not going to know, he's not in torque range. Yeah. Get, oh, okay. And you can see I've just got a bit panicky here. And I'm, yeah. Look how quick, yeah, I thought it was longer than that. What, yeah, 10 last, seconds? It didn't last long, did it? But it's allowed us to know where he is. It gives us a little bit of an heads up. But we kind of knew where he was. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly where he is. I want to know as much information as I can at this point. So I'm trying to back up exactly. close to the island to get within okay. talk range of him. I want to give him as little time to respond as possible. But at the same time, I'm thinking, if he talks, I'm going to have to get on my skates here as well. Do you think he's going to come for you then? 
I think he is, but then I think that at this point, I think he's not coming, is he? He's just going to capture that base, he's not going to come round. And I'm thinking, am I going to have to go for him? But you can see again here, the Bojani, he just, it's not agile, it's no, not nimble. No, it's not at all, is it? He's captured that base now. I'm going to have to go for him. The thing is, you've got to remember, you're in a cruiser. You know that if he catches you right, you're gone, aren't you? Yeah. Look Especially how close you are to him as well. You've uh, just got to hope that he's got his guns facing the other way. No. It's <laughs> <laughs> never the case, is it? No. But <laughs> whenever, you know, you, whenever you sneak up on a battleship, he's always got his guns pointing exactly where you are and they're fully loaded. There's no reason for his guns to be pointed somewhere yeah. else. And we're spotted by his plane, so the yeah, element of surprise gone. has gone. He's gone. So whatever whatever chance we had of sneaking up on him has now evaporated quite he's fast. Completely gone. Where is he? Has he you gone think, back round the other side? You're thinking he's, he's surely he's going to be here. Because he did capture it. He's still in it. Oh, he's, he's, he's in the middle. Yeah. So he's backing up. It's a fear of the bullion. So now we're talking about this. We're talking about you mentioned before, didn't you? The face-on stand-up armor of the bullion. Yeah. Can it face up to it? You can see, I know what he's doing now. He's trying to get his torps on me. Yeah. And I know he doesn't have to get that much range, but all I'm thinking now is he's on fire. He You've can either five. leave that burning, or he can put it out. But I wouldn't if I were him, because I'm going to be thinking the same thing. I'm going to have a torpedo coming into me at any point now. I've got a little bit of sides on that. I thought he's reloading. He should be shooting more at him, huh? We skimmed a few more. We've survived yeah. quite well there. Yeah. And then torps are looking good. Yeah, very good. Man. No, I think they're going to finish off. So gone. We've finished off the night now. We're still spotted by the thing. We'll try and capture this base as well. There's not many ships left on our team. Just myself and another battleship who looks like he's getting harassed by all the Reds. There's not many different. ships that can take out. And Eisenhower. Yeah. I think the Budjan is a fantastic tier 5 cruiser. Yeah. That's what you mentioned, the Legala Sonier. I like playing with Legala Sonier. He wants but it on that. Can't lay the. No. the that's what we talked about with the yeah. Legala didn't we? We said yeah. when we did the review, it hasn't got the killer. Yeah. Killer foot on the throat, finish some off, no, no matter what it, it is. If that rolls around the corner, I'm chucking two torpedoes at him, he's still going to be alive. And he would have dodged one. Yeah. And um, what we got left? The Gade, Ashio, and Eliander. No. Yeah, I mean, the Gade's got four kills already. <laughs> we've done. We've got three yourself. We've, we've technically controlled our flank to a degree. We've done a lot of hard work across here. Obviously, with damage rolled up, but the Nuremberg I like. That's another ship that's mm. got the killer instinct of the Budjani to actually finish off anything that yeah. it comes up against with its sheer amount of torpedoes. What I don't mind. I love the torpedo spread of the Budjani. It's yeah, hard to dodge all definitely. five of them. I mean, it's a bit like the Hartnick. If you get within four kilometres of one of these Russian things, that's mm. it. You're in trouble. Uh, there we go. Stealth's not a major plus point on it. We've been spotted. But don't forget, you have got the armour and the. The slight angle to bounce stuff off at close range. It's remarkable which lets how often it use, does it in the Bulgari as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's very bouncy. I've known it to be very bouncy in some games. This is where you wish you'd saved your radar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're down to one sonar, but oh no, just as we turn, we just showed the Leander side as well. You've uh, not got enough to show it, no. have you? Only so got four we're still firing AT at it. this point. I'm trying to throw a, throw a few shapes into the equation. Pick up an eye caliber as we got. Uh, we're down to just under 4,000 hit points. Buster move! Wow. And he's, he's surely one more volume we've done. Yeah. He's definitely. not going to switch to HE, is he? No. <laughs> well, he should do you anyway, shouldn't he? He should oh, do us. Okay, that we're that we're you again. Well. Oh, we've put some another roll in him. We're chipping away at him. He's a destroyer oh, off to his right hand side here now. He's going to start the fight up on 330 hit points left. Bop, bop, bop. 330 we took off him. He only needs to land one shell when he's done it. Nice! Uh, four. Four. four! Four hit points left. What, what, what? I don't know how we're going to survive another volley. Can we make it? I do not know oh, what the hell happened that. there, but we survived with four hit points. But <laughs> he's missed oh, get a Citadel up Leander as well. Him with that, didn't you? Oh, we're going to be dead. Oh, he's missed us again. He's missed us again. Destroy gets some rounds off. Oh, we bounced him up. We bounced uh, one you shot gave, off him. You gave him his cracker. You were his fifth kill. So, yeah. I'll Charitable kind of yeah, guy. Yeah. That Leander blew it, to be fair. Yeah, he had it only on the toast. But that's the Bugiotti. There's not many cruisers at Tier 5 who can dish out that amount of punch. Only 11 torpedoes. You, we mentioned that this is a thing for fighting at range, and then we mm. show a video where you get up close and brawl. <laughs> 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 but that wasn't the kind of map to do, I said, fighting at distance. No. And I think we'd have got torn to pieces anyway. I don't forget, you can do both. And this is a video showing. The fighting distance. This is the Molotov. You see, no, no radar. So we're down to the planes, and you can see I've got a different kind of perks. So I've set up with one extra consumable, which is not much of an advantage. But I like look it, at the range. How you've set it up for the same map, so it kind of gives us the same idea yeah. of what we're going at. Yeah. 
And so this is this is look at the firing. The the actual reload, sorry, is far higher yeah. on the Molotov. Seven point six on the Guardian. Here we're oh, it's, Wait, I mean, twelve seconds. Yeah, it's way higher. It's not it's not something I like a twelve second reload on a tier five. No. I'd rather go with the compromising calibre guns. You're into Pensacola territory with a Molotov, which mm. is a dangerous thing. Yeah. You're very Pensacola. -y. Extremely. Reminds me of a Pensacola yeah. with sonar and a plane. And the, gu the guns turn faster than Pensacola, and that's not a good thing, because the <laughs> Pensacola guns hardly turn at all. But they are a little bit better, so we switched to AP there now. We've got a side on Duvet Dyer. Uh, I like it how you're using... Actually, no, you can't use this smoke. Yeah, we've got I'm getting here. bumped about a bit here. <laughs> I don't know what's, what's happening. Oh, somebody's just drove into the side of the A bit of shaking going on. Few shakes, man. Connie's big looking at us now from the side. Ichi and you know you're going to pan a Kyoji spur at this range with AP. Oh, yeah, it's fine. I've switched back just as to oh. usual. Uh, look at them, they'd have been nice, wouldn't they, as AP? Yeah, look they at that. Awesome. So we get three defender points, as is tradition. And you've switched to eight? No, no still on eight. I have still switched. I'm saying they've got a switch now. Okay. Probably one salvo too late. Yeah, he's not going to stay side on forever, is he? No. But he is. Yeah, he is. <laughs> You're thinking, but he is. The thing is, you've lulled him, you've given him two rounds of uh, AT. Of course, he's going to stay side on. Here comes the AT. Here you go. Well, let's have a look how good this is. Oh, yeah. Set it up. What well, again? This, the damage is not that high. No, for the AP it's round. not bad at 12 it, kilometers. Don't get me wrong. It, yeah, that's what I was just about to say. If you're up close and personal against this Molotov in the Konigsberg, a bit like the Pensacola, he's gonna yeah. rub, sh rub like massive bits of your hit points off you. But you, you you're playing with it. You like playing yeah. with your food. Just finish him off, man. I can't. Just can't do it. You should do him now. You oh, think so, wouldn't you? Oh, but God. it's typical RNG of this game now. He's got to no. be left a little bit of health. He's not allowed to die on, on no, the salvo. No, too quick. So I don't know if they're going to clear that island. That's another thing you noticed there. We talked about it in the uh, pluses and negative. Look at that. Oh, there you go. That. You knew that was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's still lost he's two still salvos going. and missed yeah. him on that. Still going, but man. The, the shore aim and the trajectory, yeah, it's good at being accurate at hitting what you want to hit. Yeah. But it's not very good at clearing objects. That island is not a big island. We're nowhere mm, near it. Nowhere and we near. can't get shots over it. And it's not like he's just the other side of the island either. No. So you look at that coning there, if you're in an American, you yeah. take it off. He's we'll take it off. peppered, aren't you? Not going to clear it. No. We've got no luck. So, so realistically, you've got to have quite a flat map out or be close up. Yeah. With no islands in there. Yeah, definitely. But you can't handle that close up. You I'm trying cold. to keep myself at range, which uh, the team's helping me do by running off mostly. But I think my biggest problem is now, if you look to my left on the map, there's a. Oh, in the middle. I'm just going to look yeah. there. Ugh. That war spike yeah. wants me dead. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to spend the rest of the game with a war spike shooting at us Avoid constantly. Awesome. I think he gets upset so I um, shot at him then, even though it broke up on him. He's yeah, <laughs> didn't even do it. No. Him one shot. No, but look, straight away he's got us pinned for um, toe tag. He's not going to leave us alone. Is he your only target? He's not, is he? No, I'm just on. trying to spread the love. I'm not mm. I'm scared we're all set on fire. So we've got one fire going on that war spark now, but he seems to pull it out straight away. He's trying to bust some moves. So bust some why moves. are you keeping away from stuff? Is it purely because they're running off? Or... As well, I don't want to get any closer. It's not like we saw in the Blue Johnny video where I'm going to be torping left, right, and centre. Mm. It's, it's just not how the best results you get. I just, I just find the Molotov hard to do the damage you can do in the Blue Johnny. Just yeah. the sheer fire. I mean, talking nearly two salvos to one from each ship. It's, it's not, not far like, off, actually. Yeah, and it? it's not like the Molotov's guns are doing that much more damage to Salvo mm. than the Budyani. I, if anything, I kind of get better results with Salvo off the Budyani than I do the Molotov. But I, I prefer a rapid fire, small exactly. caliber, exactly. rather than a, a All big, day. massive gun yeah. that fires uh, dead. The slow. only advantage you've got is up close and personal with a battleship, and you do not want to be doing that anyway. Mm, so exactly. I would stick to the. Uh, I'd rather have the Budyani guns. Mm. I mean, that war yeah. spike there. I'm just trying to. Keep my distance from me, you can see. I mean, the team's not really helping me. I don't know why they I don't see how, if I'm struggling to get shots on him there, how yeah. they have got shots on anybody from back where <laughs> they are. Yeah. So, and um, the problem I've got is now I'm the furthest forward, and that goes for them as well. I don't the see. Two fires there again. Bop, bop, bop. I'm not seeing a great massive positive for the Monosov. 
it's, All I've it seen does is... what the um, Bojani does, just not as well. Just not as well. If you, if you're more uh, up close and personal fire, yeah, the Molotov can sometimes be a little bit better with its higher power guns, if mm. that makes sense. You've got no advantage on torque range. You've got no advantage on gun range. You've got the tiniest advantage when it comes to hit points. Yeah, I won't say the Bojani is an inaccurate grouping no, when it comes to dispersion and I'll say the same again for the Molotov look at the grouping yeah. if you're in open water it's very easy to hit what you're shooting at fantastic trajectory fantastic grouping yeah. so when it comes to that these are good cruisers for that I do like the Bud one one of my favourite tier 5 cruisers if I had to pick one mm. okay. which it don't really suit my place I mean we're, we're the focal point now we're in trouble we've you gone too far we've yeah, pushed too far but the, too the battleship look behind me what is that battleship who is he fighting which one the one who's directly to my left as you look at my ship. Well, behind the island. Yeah, um, I mean, he, he can't possibly have shots anything. on them battleships across there. And here you go again, it's the same issue. It don't come down as a, a negative on the ship, on the over for you, if you know what I mean, but it's the same problem. It doesn't turn, turn very quickly. Turn turning circles quite high. And it's and pretty slow, aren't you? Yeah. That war spot, he's after me. <laughs> he's after me. This is why I put, Madden, I put the Madden in mind, just to mm. try and improve the turning of the guns. Yeah. But yeah, I don't think it's a... I don't find them that big an issue no. with Molotov. You may as well go with For the size else. of the guns you're dealing with, you, I mean, Pensacola's just... Calendars come round quicker than that, um, yeah. and guns do. Just cut edge, chances are. I mean, are, I like to turn oh, great. the ship. Another, another one. one. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see the fires aren't a problem. For it, see, it's only got quite a low, yeah. like, HE chance of fire. The, yeah. The, 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 it feels about right. I mean, what we got in there, 93 shots for five fires. We're not getting any real help from his teammates at all at this point. I don't really know what they're fighting. But if anybody, I mean, the cruiser, I think, to his left, is he facing back at map? Yeah, I think he's going he away, yeah, he's going <laughs> away. The other battleship's trying to get as far around the island without being shot as possible. And they are trying to shoot you. I understand sometimes what the crack is when players play the game and they go and sit behind an island so they can't get shot, but don't shoot anybody. I mean, it's like playing a going paintballing and um, I'm going to go and stand behind this shed <laughs> for half an hour let me know when game's finished. <laughs> I really enjoy paintballing. It's, um, I don't know why you wouldn't just get stuck in. You're there to shoot other ships and fight other ships. Why would you not do it? I don't know. It's like you're saving the ship from damage. I don't know why. Marble lad. Another great ship there. He's just finished That's off. Like, he's fighting. He's, he's doing his best to be fair for a tier 4 cruiser. I and mean, it's this point I'm thinking, I'm in trouble here now. I have just gone sideways on with an island in my way. <laughs> have you tried AP against battleships, close or up? Don't do a great deal. And I don't like getting close up either, okay. to be fair, because it's just a recipe for disaster. I, mean, I was just thinking about the Pensacola, because that AP is pretty good. Yeah, I, do, I dare say it's the same, but I think you've got the same problem. If you're up close to a warship in a fancy colour, it's only going to end two ways. I don't think you can actually get a close <laughs> Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> to a battleship, well, though, this is what I, mean. I wouldn't say that these guns are doing substantially more a volley than you get from the Bugatti no. that's firing way quicker. Look, yeah. you know, it's, it's not racking up the damage fast. It's not like it, it sets fires better than the Bugatti either. I think if they ever buffed the Molotov, put the Bugatti guns on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, then it bit the same ship. <laughs> So we've got another oh, fire yeah. going there. That war spy is a bit of a nemesis for us. He's, he's really after us here, completely after us. We, we, we're trying to get as far back. He's pushing forward now, so he's pushing us back. Um, it's holding up. Oh my god, there's another one. It's holding up defensively, isn't it, if you know what I mean? Yeah. The armour. We, we've not had a substantial impact, I don't think, in either of these games, no. which haven't really showed the weakness in its truest aspect. I think they've been pitter patter yeah. Normally, if you, you go sideways onto a battleship, it's, it's game over. Go, go back to the port and pick yeah. another one out. You're, gone. you're done in this one. I mean, we're still level on ships at this point. It's, we're pitter powering out and we're trying to back up his team. Across the I think fire. staying away from battleships in this yeah. is its main defence. Yeah. <laughs> I know it sounds stupid to say, but like I say, if, you, if you're the furthest away, they're less likely to hit you with the dispersion, that's what I mean. Yeah. But you're more likely to hit them and set them on fire. I mean, but, because you ain't got any smoke, yeah. you need to keep moving. Or use an island. But you can't be close up to an island, because you can't shoot over yeah. No, at all. So you kind of got to get yourself out of the open to be shot yeah. at by said... I mean, at any point now, that New York can turn his gun and finish me off. At any point. Yeah. And you're still pitter-pattering at him, if that makes sense. 
See, if, if you notice how many battleships are in this game, no normally if you're in a cruiser it's this many battleships, you think, oh great, there's always going to set everything on fire. But you've had 144 shots, that 10 fires is pretty yeah. good. I'm not dismissing your fires, but with this many battleships you'd think you'd have more yeah, fires. Well, that's all the legions got off before and they get shot from the uh, sea spawn as well. Oh my god, I am full yeah. siders on there. Too. Yeah, that's my fault. That's all on me, this. Spit roasted, man. Do we carry on showing the side? And we've got a cruiser right next to it as well. Oh, oh you should finish it. This is where they traverse the help on the guns. some AP. I can't, I'm not going to be loaded in time. He's taught me already and too I slow. just can't turn. I'm turning now because I know he's talked. Who's Johnny? You but have shot just, him by now. Yeah, I can't respond fast enough to get back there. You can say he couldn't turn yeah. and you couldn't turn your guns. Yeah, that's where the Bujani could have been. It would have been in no better Hang position. On, right? No, got it wrong. You couldn't reload, you couldn't turn yeah. your guns, you couldn't turn your ship. Yeah. So that is the problem with fighting up close and first when we're a Russian cruiser. Where the Bujani would have been reloaded. I would, would have had the same the problem ship? turning. Okay. But you can see that we managed to lose that somehow. The, um, did your team lose it? Or yeah, did they you lost lose it just it? on points. On points. We lost okay. points. Kilo's 05. So that's it, Kilo's 05. Thank you very much for your Bujani knowledge, cruiser knowledge, Molotov knowledge, and laters.